I want 50-50 time sharing so I don't have to pay child support. Ah! <laughs> so if there's any divorce uh, lawyers watching this, um, I'm sure you've heard that before, right? You've heard uh, uh, people have said that. Um, sometimes you even hear it in court, uh, hear it in the hallways, um, and you read it online. Uh, getting more time sharing is not the, the magic fix to not paying child support. Florida, and I'm a Florida divorce and family law attorney, uh, we go by the Florida Child Support Guidelines. These are Supreme Court, you know, specified guidelines. And there is a shift in the amount of child support to be paid after you hit a certain level. So once you go over that 20%, um, that's basically substantial shared parenting. And then there's kind of a, a sliding scale for child support. So once you've gone over... 20% uh, of the overnight. So between that 20% and 50%, um, yeah, it's going to be a reduced amount. Normally, there's some little aberration points. And again, you probably need to speak with an attorney to, to go through the process. And we have other videos of, you know, talking about the child support guidelines themselves and what goes into it. But for purposes of this video, um, it's not... Just because you're, you're receiving 50% of the time doesn't necessarily mean there's not going to be any child support. And the reason for that is child support is for the benefit of the child or the children. It's not for the benefit of one parent. So if one parent is making significantly more than the other, then you know they're still gonna, even with 50-50, they're still going to be, those guidelines are gonna show. Now parties do deviate from guidelines um, again, there's, there's, there's case law out there about waiver of child support and deviation and what's allowable and what's not allowable and what are deviation factors. Again, not purposes for this video. Purpose for this video is, like I said before, you know, just saying, okay, I want 50% of the time so I don't have to pay child support isn't the silver bullet, isn't the way to you know, completely zero out your child support. It's based upon the net incomes of the parties. So if one party is making significantly more, even a 50-50 arrangement, a lot of times there still can be, and especially if we're going to court on this, uh, a child support amount. Um, if it's a very, very low amount. So now as we start to equalize incomes, and if we start to get to, you know, both parties are making 100,000 a year and both parties have 50% of the time, you know, there's some other different factors of health insurance, uncovered medical and childcare expenses, but still, you know, as you can start to see, okay, now, now we're getting closer to where, um, is the court going to want to order $3 and 89 cents a month to be paid by the other side? You know, so sometimes that falls within, uh, a range that we can deviate, uh, for child support. But again, it, it depends on the situation. And just because, and we hear it so much that, well, I want to go for 50% of the time sharing uh, because I want to zero out the child support. That doesn't necessarily always happen. It happens in certain situations where it makes sense. And it's usually when the parties are making, you know, relatively the same amount of income. So very, you know, closer, but when they're having disparate income ranges, uh, but again, alimony is factored into it. So if it's in the case of a divorce, you know, that's shifting, that that raises and lowers net incomes. So that's something to look at as well with your attorney to make sure that you get, you know, good advice and understanding of how your your child support is adjusted based upon what whatever amount of alimony is paid. But for purposes of this video, coming back to the question, it's not the silver bullet. Okay, you know, just getting 50% time sharing um, and the courts are looking at the best interests of the child. You know, there's there's the factors A through T in 61.13 in, in the Florida statutes that they need to look at to determine what is in the best interest of the child. It's not just an automatic, well, okay, they're parents, so here's 50-50. Here's that may not work for every situation. It works for a lot of situations, but it doesn't work for every one. They need to determine what is in the best interest of the child or the children and then go from there. It's not just that, again, silver bullet to try to get directly to not paying child support. So 
that's something that we try to you know make sure that people understand when they're retained by us that um, that we explain to them the process for calculating child support you know what some different factors and variations because a lot of attorneys are and in courts you know people are using different forms of software to calculate it there's various different ways of you know adding back in different deductions and all kinds of um, other things to come out to your net income so you know it's important to speak with an attorney to get that information so you understand um, what's going on and not just uh, again if you're seeing on Facebook or online of you know I I, I you know, I don't want to pay child support so I'm gonna go for 50-50 that's 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 not the silver bullet and that's not the way to it so speak with an attorney get the information on it and thank you